Again, a warm welcome uh, to the program. Ballot counting is underway in Sierra Leone after voters went to the polls on Saturday for the presidential runoff election. Current President Ernest Bai Koroma is stepping down this year after serving two five-year terms. Voters uh, cast ballots for the ruling All People's Congress Party's presidential candidate Samura Matthew Wilson Kamara or the Sierra Leone People's Party's presidential candidate Julius Maida Bio. This was the second time opposition candidate Bio has run for the country top government job. He lost the 2012 election to President uh, Koroma. Eric Kaur is our correspondent in Sierra Leone. He joins us live now from Freetown. Eric, good morning to you, Eric, and happy Easter. Good morning to you, Jerry, and uh, happy holidays to you as well. Well, uh, thank you for joining us on the program. Uh, happy holidays, but indeed we are here working, doing our thing as just as you are doing. Eric, could you describe for us the mood of uh, Sierra Leoneans waiting for the results uh, of uh, Saturday's uh, presidential runoff? Oh, well, so far, Jerry, as I can say, uh, for Sierra Leoneans right now, they are waiting in a very peaceful mood and in a, a high anticipation to know the outcome of the runoff presidential election with many being glued to their radio and TV sets as provincial results drop through the independent radio network, a network comprising of over 40 radio stations in the country. Uh, counting started immediately after voting on Saturday in many of the centers um, that I visited, and of course, uh, We've seen some breakdown of results on the social media, but the National Electoral Commission is yet to make any statement on the announcement of the official results. Eric, one of the things that was said about last Saturday's uh, vote was the turnout, and Mr. Bio complained about the fact, Mr. Bio, that the opposition candidate that is, complained about the, the fact mm -hmm. that the turnout was low compared uh, to the first round, and that he also pointed out uh, that the mass uh, deployment of uh, police and armed soldiers could be responsible for that. How true is this, Eric? Well, yes, to some extent, uh, we can say it's uh, true, because there were several reports of intimidation by the security forces on polling day, and uh, I myself personally saw huge presence of armed police officers and soldiers in various polling centers I visited across the country's capital. Um, even as journalists see some intimidation in some polling centers, the West African Network for Peace Building, WANEP, uh, an observer mission, also reported that uh, heavy military presence in areas such as uh, Bonds, Western Area, Urban, Cambia, and Kenema allegedly created an atmosphere of fear and intimidation. On the other hand, security presence was needed, though uh, many were expecting them to be arms free. Uh, there was, a, however, improvement of voter turnout before the closing down of polls. And considering the fact that uh, there were only two candidates for the election, uh, the process was faster than the previous one, and some voters left immediately after casting their ballots. Eric, we know that some observers were on the field to monitor the elections. You talked about you uh, monitoring the elections as well. Uh, but what so far has been the assessment, talking about international um, observing, uh, observer groups? Okay, for the international observer groups, of course, we have lots of them around, uh, but we've received uh, one from the West Africa Network of Peace Building, WANEP, and in their preliminary findings, they uh, highlighted some allegations of interference of voting process uh, by some government functionaries and some polling stations in, in some polling stations in Bonds, Connor and Western Auburn. Uh, they also reported that they had a gunshot at Chuba Hill, close to the residence of the opposition party, SLPP presidential candidate, and intimidation of its, uh, journalists as well. And uh, also, uh, we received uh, a report from local uh, observer groups, uh, such as the National Elections Watch, which is uh, one of the biggest local observer groups here in the country. They are released uh, dated the 31st of March, states that 67.3% uh, of uh, observers uh, did not see any visually impaired person, while 32.7% did, meaning there was a low turnout there for people who were visually impaired voting this time around.